From July 1st to September 20th, 272 fires impacted Caribou Regional District, almost triple the amount from last summer. As you see here, the yellow indicates areas put under evacuation alert during the summer months. The red indicates evacuation orders. We had just left the 100 Mile House curling rink where they had the evacuation center for those affected by the fire here. And uh, we've been told now we have to get out of this area. There is evacuation orders for 100 Mile and we have to go to Prince George is the next closest spot. So it's going to be a really long night driving but uh, I don't know what time we'll get there, but there's a lot of people that have to drive that tonight. Mid-July had 15 alerts announced and 23 orders were issued in areas such as 100 Mile House, Gustinson, Alexis Creek, Tatla, and Williams Lake. Officials are describing the damage here as catastrophic and earlier today we got to see some of that damage close up. We drove through Soda Creek Dry a Road rather and we saw homes completely burnt to the ground, trees charred and so that's what some people will be coming back to. And the air quality from time to time can get extremely poor. The area will remain on evacuation alert. People need to consider, particularly those in rural areas, that the areas have been surrounded, uh, profoundly affected by wildfire. The services you used to rely on may be limited for some time. The town is open. We're happy that our citizens are back. And for us, it's number one is, is, uh, is populating the town. Very happy, very excited to, to welcome our residents back. And uh, I'm glad that they're safe. For the remainder of July, 13 alerts and 13 orders of evacuation were issued in locations such as Alexis Creek, Central Caribou, south of Queenell, North Green Lake, and Nazco. We've distributed uh, about 11,000 hygiene kits, about 22,000 after the fire and cleanup kits. We have had uh, over 4,000 families that have received that additional support for their, you know, for extreme vulnerabilities that our, our caseworkers have been managing. And uh, we've had over 1,200 applications to the support to small business. Towards the end of July and into mid-August were some of the longest lasting alerts and orders. These affected areas, such as the Fraser River, Glasbaco, Nazco, Anaheim, and Nimpo Lake. It was during this time that many alerts and orders were combined due to size. By mid-August, there were less new fires reported than the previous weeks. However, work on the ground continued. At the end of August and into the beginning of September, new alerts and orders increased in areas such as Black Creek, Canham Lake, Highway 24 corridor, and south of Highway 20. Our emergency services worked extremely hard providing our communities with protection through dedication and exceptional services. Provincially, over 1.2 million hectares of land was burned in the 2017 season. Fortunately, no fatalities occurred. We would just like to really thank the public for their cooperation and their support through this event, the fire center and the firefighters for all of their tremendous efforts and the RCMP and the military that came in and helped us all out. We're glad that most of you are back in your homes, safe and sound. We'd also like to thank you for your patience and cooperation as we went through this unprecedented event. We look forward to working with you together to ensure our communities are safe. Thank you. 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 From the bottom of our hearts.